an incredible event this is. The world's longest non-stop canoe race. Starting in Devizes, paddling all the way along the Kennet and Avon Canal, picking up the River Thames at Reading, and then making your way into the City of London to finish at Westminster Bridge right outside the Houses of Parliament. This 125 mile, 77 portage ultra marathon is one of the toughest ultra events in the UK. Here we are at the start line of the Devizes to Westminster for 2024 and this incredible race is already underway with about 60 crews already on the course and the remainder of the crews in the boat checking area just going through their final preparations before they set off on their epic journey from Devizes 125 miles later arriving at Westminster Bridge. We've got three really strong crews in the race this year. So really exciting to see how Tom and Anushka in the Mix K2 class, Tom the record holder from last year as well, going against Andy Burkett and Tom Simmons. Andy who's won the race previously, Tom is his first time out. And we've also got Billy Butler racing with John O'Grady. Those guys have been the strongest in the water size series leading up to the race, but all three crews are pretty similar. So it's gonna be great to see how this race unfolds over the next 15 or so hours.
Jacuzzi Wharf now, just seen Tom and Anushka go through. So out of the big three, they were the first to leave the visors and they've just passed through and they're pretty much on their target time. About 24 minutes after those, Andy and Tom Simmons left. And then last to leave the visors was Billy Butler and John O'Grady. 45 minutes between Billy and Tom with Andy Burkett and Tom Simmons sitting in between. Here's a little bit of insight as to why Tom and Anushka were so successful this year. Bearing in mind they gave away seven minutes on the pound to their closest rivals, they took all of that time back and more by the time they got to the end of the canal. We can see just how efficient Anushka and Tom are as they get out of their boat. Then Anushka makes sure she looks after the boat, she takes care of the rudder, ensuring that she pulls the boat outwards first and doesn't just drag it up the side and gives Tom plenty of time to get settled before they start running. This crew was really drilled and we can see it in some side-by-side -side comparisons. There's a lot of things that these guys do that gives them just a little bit of an edge that allows them to chip away at the leads throughout the race. Some more insight into the way Tom and Anushka races. If you see on every single one of their portages as they get in with the flow, Tom always makes sure that he holds the front of the boat out and Anushka makes sure she holds the back of the boat in. This makes sure that they're not going to get swept into the flow before they want to. Little things like this makes the crew comfortable, makes them relaxed and allow them just to get on with their race without the anxiety. Thank you.
Here's a great example from Billy and John showing us how to get in the river when the water's deep. Over 100 miles into the race, we can see that Billy and John make light work of this by using the paddle in order to gain a little bit of extra stability. Find the bottom, find the base somewhere, something that's strong, something that's solid, just so you've got a little bit more confidence as you step into the boat. <laughs> 